let's take a look at Lando and databases today. So some people have questions about how to interact with a database when you're using a Docker-based development environment, which Lando is, and it is a little different, so let's take a look at that. So I'd like to point out the uh, Lando documentation here. So if you don't have Lando, come to docs.devlando.io and click on the installing section and grab Lando. If you've already got it, go ahead and follow along. So we're looking at the uh, <coughs> tutorial section DB import, and basically I'm going to make a video that explains some of the information on that page here. So over on the right, we have the outline of what we talk about today. We talked about the docs, uh, so use those. Those are great. Um, talk a bit about what database backends are supported. So MariaDB, which is the one I use uh, pretty much all the time. MySQL, uh, Microsoft SQL, Postgres, MongoDB. So today we'll stick with MariaDB, but very similar things can be done with the other database backends. So what I've got here today is a straightforward Drupal 7 recipe, and I'm running Nginx and MariaDB. So one thing that Lando provides, so if you remember, if you just type Lando without any arguments, uh, you'll get a list of the available commands to you, and those could be different depending on uh, what recipe or application you're running or what tool tooling you've piped into it. Um, so one thing that Lando provides in LAMP and LEMP recipes is this Lando MySQL command. And what that does is drops you into a uh, MySQL shell. So we have this app running here, it's Drupal 7 app, Lando MySQL, and it drops you into a MySQL shell. So we can show databases in a Drupal 7 app, we have a Drupal 7 database here so we can use that one and then you can show the tables you can do anything you can do in a MySQL shell of course and you, there you see some familiar Drupal tables and um, we can um, you know do select some stuff from the users table select UID name from users where one and there you see we have uh, the anonymous user and the, uh, uh, the admin user. So that's great and I use that quite frequently to examine the database but um, and um, uh, we're gonna talk about uh, Lando DB import and Lando DB export commands that are available to us. So if we just look at Lando here, so you see the DB export, export a database. So it's just like what it sounds like, export a database from the application that you're using, import a database into. If you wanna get a little additional help, and this works with any command, so Lando uh, MySQL dash dash minus H, um, and you can see what you can do with that. So if you wanna specify a host, you can um, drop into, if you have two database containers running and you wanna drop into a specific one you can specify the host so that help flag is very helpful so let's actually do these backwards because I don't have anything to import right now but say I wanted to destroy this app because I did something wrong but I wanted to keep the database state so I can I, I can export this or I, maybe I want to export it and give it to another developer so Lando DB export and that goes out and grabs the DB from the container and you can see it drops it into a file, Drupal 7 timestamp.gz. So if we do a ls now, you'll see that we have that file hanging around, and that's in the um, in our slash app directory as far as Lando is concerned. So inside the container, it's at slash app. So one thing you'll notice in the docs is to use db import. You in order to import the database, the Docker containers have to know about this file, so it has to be in a file on your local system that is shared into the Docker environment. So anything uh, in and above the, uh, in and below the where your .lando.yaml file is, the root of the application, will be sufficient. And usually I just put it right alongside where the .lando.yaml file is. So I see we have .lando.yaml, and one of the things that we have in here is this Drupal 7. So I can uh, import that as well. So Lando DB import. And then you specify the file. And you see that that's going to destroy all the current tables. And that's so, like, if you have any 
uh, data hanging around uh, it will it will uh, kill it so you know what what data set you're working with and don't get caught up in a weird situation but if you don't want to do that you can um, you can see the no wipe flag here that you can use if you if you just want to import uh, some things without destroying some like say you had some additional tables in there that you were testing out or something like that great so those are super helpful commands and one thing I get asked a lot about is how do we connect to a database client? So you can connect to like phpMyAdmin, which you would add as a service, and that's in the documentation um, somewhere over here. So you can certainly do that. You can read about that here on phpMyAdmin. What we're going to do today is connect to the SQL Pro client, uh, which is what I use on a Mac a lot. If you're using uh, Linux, you can. Uh, you know, use something else. I know some people connect their databases with PHP Storm. So, for example, we'll we'll use SQL Pro today, but the technique we use here is going to be very similar. What you basically need is the right information. So, Lando Info is the way to get uh, a lot of information about your application. And one thing it's going to give us is information about the database container. So the external connection to the database is going to give you a port and since docker destroys and spins up containers all the time that port's going to change all the time so lando info will give you access to that uh, port so then you head over to uh, sql pro and usually i name this after the uh, url of my application and the host is localhost so 127.0.0 that one and the username for Drupal 7 is Drupal 7 for Drupal 8 Drupal 8 for Laravel it's Laravel so on and so forth so username password and database are all Drupal 7 and the port is that port that I just uh, got from Lando info so you can test the connection uh, did I type the password wrong maybe There we go. So all my yap and I typed the password wrong, no worries. Um, so now we can connect up and of course we just see the same tables that we saw on the SQL shell, but we have you know this kind of convenient graphical interface. So for example, if you wanna compare the users table with some uh, roles tables or something, you can you know open those two connections side by side and toggle between the two tabs, so that's useful. So that's just some information about working with Lando and your database containers. I hope that's helpful. If you have questions, hit us up in the Slack. Thanks for watching.